in this video I am going to construct few stairs and I will demonstrate how Instructrid gives a smooth join between the waste slab and the floor. So let us start with the first stair, single flight stair or before that I would like to show you the thickness of the floors. The first set, these floors have got 100 mm thickness, these floors have got 200 mm and the third floors they have got 300 mm thickness. So floors with different thickness are there. So my stairs is near D grid, the offset is 700 mm. The grid is 3, offset is minus 2.5 meters. Number of risers, let it be 20. The trade length, let it be 300. Stair width, 1000 millimeters, 1 meter, that is. Then waist slab thickness, let it be 300 mm. Run, right run mark let it be say st a select this southward arrow my stair starts with the riser and ends with the riser hit ok button so at the first prompt press the escape key and for the second prompt select this top floor name this family say st a Now uh, this is the stair I have. So let us check its join in the 3D view and then in a sectional view. So let us drag this section. So you can see the stair has begun with a riser and ended with a riser with this smooth join. This is the floor, top floor and this is the west slab. You can check the west slab thickness, it's 300 mm and the floor thickness is 100 mm. Now let us build another stair at the second position. I will input the pre-calculated values. Start set first level and end set second level. Number of risers, let it be 20. Trade length, let it be 300. Stair width, 1 meter. West slab thickness in this situation, let it be 100. The floor thickness is 200 millimeters, you know. Let it be right run. And the stair name, let it be STB. Select the southward arrow. My stair starts with a trade and ends with a trade. So hit OK button. Press escape key for the first prompt and the for the second prompt select this slab name it name the family stb so let us check the joint you can see you have a smooth joint let us drag this section you can see a smooth join the west slab thickness is 100 and this floor thickness is 200 mm my stair ended with the trade and has begun with the trade Now let us build the model of the third stair 
and this time let us have this stair with landing that is stair with mid landing I will put the values pre-calculated values my stair starts at D the offset value let it be 1700 then 8 is the vertical grid line offset is two and a half meters number of risers let it be 20 trade length 300 stair width 1 meter west lap thickness in this situation let us have it as 300 so west lap thickness and the floor thickness they are equal that is 300 mm right run number of landings let it be 20 landing thickness so or sorry i I should change this number of landing which should be one so I will have one mid landing that thickness of that mid landing let it be 300 length of landing let it be one meter and mark STC select southward arrow and let us say my stair starts with a tread and ends with a riser hit the OK button Press escape key for the first prompt and for the second prompt select this floor. Name this family. Let it be STC. You can see we have a smooth join here. drag this section and check check the smoothness of the stair it has begun with the trade ended with the riser and you have smooth join between the west slab and the floor the thickness of the stair or west slab is 300 mm the mid landing 300 mm and the top floor 300 mm so in this way you can have a smooth join when the floor thickness and the west lap thickness is equal. Now let us construct a dog leg stair at this position. Select dog leg stair. I will input the pre-calculated values. My stair is say near B vertical grid line is 2 offset is say 1 meter bottom level is 1 top level is 2 number of risers 6 for the first flight 6 for the second flight trade length let it be 300 mm stair width let it be 1 meter west slab thickness let it be Mm, let it be 300 so my floor will have 100 mm thickness and west slab thickness will be 300 you can select any thickness you want then stairwell width that is 1 meter landing length 1 meter let the landing thickness let it be 300 it's equal to say west slab thickness mark say STD select southward arrow select left turn and we have selected riser 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 for both the flights so hit OK button select the bottom slab and the top slab name the family as usual let it be STD You can see stair has begun with a riser and ended with a riser and we can see a smooth join between the west slab and the floor let us 
drag this section this is the first flight you can see a smooth join to get the smooth join the floor has been extended the vest slab thickness is 300 mm landing is 300 let us check the smoothness of the second flight so you can see here to get the smooth join this west slab has intruded this floor now let us construct another dog leg stair at this position the floor thickness is 200 mm i will input the pre-calculated data the stair starts at or it's near the vertical grid line 5 let the offset be 1 meter starts at 1 first level and ends at second level let the number of risers be 6 here I will have number of risers 5 for second flight my stair starts with a riser, ends with a riser for first flight and for second flight it starts with a riser and ends with a tread. So that's why I have selected 5 risers here. Let the tread length be 300 mm. Stair width 1 meter. West slab thickness in this situation I will have equal west slab thickness that is equal to the floor. So let it be 200 mm. <coughs> let it be right run then stairwell width let it be 1 meter landing length 1 meter and landing thickness let it be 2 meters or in fact 200 millimeters name of the stair say SDE select southward arrow then left turn and right turn select left turn hit OK button select the bottom slab and the top slab so you can see the stair has begun with a riser and ended with a trade and you can see the smooth join so let us check that join in the sectional view two hundred should be the width of the west slab it is two hundred mm and floor is also two hundred mm so all the thickness of floor west slab and landing is equal in this situation See the smooth join. Let us check the west slab thickness. It's 200 mm. Floor thickness 200 mm. And landing is also 200 mm. Now let us construct the last stair. And the floor thickness is 3 meter, uh, 300 millimeters. In this last part, for this uh, last step, I will select U shaped stair. My stairs is near grid B, offset is 0, vertical grid line is 8, the offset is say 750. select level 1 level 2 number of risers my stair starts with the riser and ends with the riser so I have six risers for first flight six risers for second flight six risers for third flight 
thread length 300 mm stair width 1 meter waist slab thickness let us have it as a 100 mm landing thickness 100 you can choose any value let it be right run the name of the stair is stf select bottom or southward arrow left turn select left turn hit ok button select the bottom slab and the top slab you can see the smoothness of the join it has begun with a riser and ended with a riser let us have sections You can see the smoothness and this waist slab thickness is 100, landing is also 100 but the floor is 300 mm. Drag this section, again you see the smoothness here, waist slab thickness is 100 it's 300 and the landing thickness is 100 and let us draw another section here so that i can show you the the second flight right so this is the second flight so using in stacrit you can have a smooth join between the west slab and the floor. Thank you.